Okay, so in this worksheet, we are going to be working out the numbers of protons and electrons and neutrons from each one of the elements by looking at it on the periodic table. So yes, you will need your periodic table for this. Each one of the tiles is going to look like this, and we've already gone through this in this lesson. Atomic number, symbol, name, and mass number, which will be rounded off to the nearest whole number. So let's get started. Now the first two have already been done for you. We're going to be looking at lithium first together. So lithium is here. And let's look at first the atomic number, which is 3. And the mass number is 6.9, so we're going to round that off to 7. So lithium symbol is Li. The atomic number was 3, and the mass number was 7. Now the protons equals the atomic number, so that is 3. It also equals the number of electrons, which is... 3. To get the number of protons, it is the mass number minus the atomic number, and that is 4. Let's go through another one. Let's look at, we'll do something a little bit larger, and let's look at fluorine. So once again, go to our periodic table and locate fluorine. Fluorine is over this side, and we can see that it has an atomic number of 9 and a mass number of 18.9, so we round that off to 19. So fluorine had a symbol of F, atomic number was 9, and the mass number was 19. Now the number of protons once again was the atomic number, so that is 9, and the electrons equals the same, and to get the number of neutrons, mass number, take away atomic number, and that is 10. So work through the rest, I'm just going to place the answers on the screen now.